So now, first of all, in this video, we will calculate the mass and density of our earth. Let us consider the mass of our earth is capital M. Mass of earth and capital R equals to the radius of the earth. The radius of earth. Okay. Suppose this is our earth which has mass of M and this is the radius of R and here is an object which has a mass of small m. We know our uh, we know the value of g by, or the gravitational acceleration g is g m by r square g m by r square. So this m has a gravitational acceleration of g m by r square. So from that, if I put the value of all of this g, we know the value of small g is 9.81 meter per second square. The uh, this is the uh, <coughs> this is the standard value of g, a small g. The value of gravitational constant g is 6.67 into 10 inverse 11 newton <coughs> meter square kg inverse 2 and the radius of our earth r is equals to 6.37 into 10 to the power 6 meter if i put this all this value in this equation we can write this thing, equation as capital m equals to g r square by g so if i put all this value small g capital l r and capital g then i will get the mass of our earth is m equals to 5.96 into 10 to the power 24 kg 24 kg or you can write this thing as 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg so this is the mass of our the uh, mass of our earth now we have to find out the density so now we have to find out so let us the density of the r is rho density of our earth density of our earth is rho and we know rho equals to mass divided by volume and as earth is a spare types uh, ge geometrical the geometrical shape of earth is spherical so for the volume of v we can use the formula to calculate the spherical volume is what is 4 by 3 pi r cube 4 by 3 pi r cube if i put this value of m from this uh, part and r from there then we'll get the rho equals to 5.5 into 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube. so this is the density of our earth so we find out the mass and the density of earth okay now <coughs> we have to we, we, we have to know what is mass and what is weight so mass says that the amount of materials the amount of materials present in an object is called its mass so the amount of materials presents in an object so an object holds how how much materials is it which is it is the ex, ex, the value of the mass and it is denoted by m we can use it capital m or ismo m and it is a scalar value it is a scalar value it is a scalar quantity <coughs> and mass is space dependent so mass is also another properties of mass is mass is space in the Dependent, sorry, not dependent is it is state space independent. So, what is this space independent means? Wherever it is taken, it remains same. Suppose a materials or this object of mass m has taken on the earth or moon or Mars, the value of this m will be always same it will be not changing uh, at each places okay so it says that 
this is the main concept of space independent and mass of an object is not affected by its rest motion temperature magnetic field electric field or is their behavior so the mass doesn't uh, affected by this kind of properties okay and what is weight the weight says that the amount of force the amount of force by which an object is attracted towards the center of the earth is called its weight so where a object is at that section the how much force is feel for the uh, on the center of the earth is known as weight okay and we represent this weight as w and the formula of weight is w equals to m of g we actually multiply the value of g with our weight okay so with the change of the value of g weight of an object is changes so it is not space independent so our weight is not space independent so we can say that it is space dependent okay so what is this space dependent means when an object of weight w is taken on earth moon and mars for each cases it will give different weight so the value of weight is different in different different places so this is the main concept of mass and weight now we'll discuss about the center of gravity and center of mass so what is center of gravity center of gravity center of gravity so it says that the point through which its weight acts is called its center of gravity so we can write the the point through which through which its weight its weight acts is called its center of gravity suppose this is an object <coughs> this is an object and it has an weight of w so if i take this point then our w will be different if i take this point then our w will be different if i take this then our w will be something else but for a particular point let us take this particular point uh, suppose this point if i take this point and i find out the w or the weight from from this point then i will find out the, the weight will be actual uh, it will be equal to the actual then this this point c is known as center of gravity so this is the main concept of center of gravity and what is center of mass so center of mass says that the center of mass of an object of an object may be defined as the point may be defined as the point at which at which the entire mass the entire mass can be considered to act can be considered to act so these are the two definition of center of gravity and center of mass okay i hope you understand the concept of mass and weight and in in our first portion of our video we we actually calculate the mass of our earth and density of our earth and now we we'll, uh, we just discuss the center of gravity and center of mass please like this video and do subscribe to our channel thank you